Just these? Yeah. Uh, uh, can I make a suggestion? I thought this looked like it had amazing potential too, but it is actually really, really bad. It's like two definitely underage European girls hitchhiking through the most unattractive shots of Germany. Greasy fat guys like basically raping them. I, I mean, it is a it's a turn off. Should probably move it to a different section, like bad. <laughs> um, do you want to pick out something else? No thanks. Are you sure we're open till midnight? Just these. Just these three, then? Okay. We will... Yeah. How are you doing? Great. Due back Friday before midnight. Dude, you can't talk to the porn customers the same way you talk to the ones who are renting Truffaut for the 12th time. That was an incredibly odd exchange. Thanks, dude. I think it's cool. No, no, she's not mute. corner in Poland. Right, dude? Yeah. You think we're free because we get to choose between a latte and a mocha at Starbucks? It's not freedom, man. Oh, it's a bad situation. Bad situation. History is cyclical, though. You know, it's all gonna come back around. Oh, shit. We're all fucked. Have you guys been watching Charlie Rose? We, we are changing what it means to be human. Well, come on. I mean, we've always been changing what it means to be human. The pendulum has to swing all the way to the extreme before it's gonna swing back again. Pendulum? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about the end of the world. Good night. Later, dude.
Delivery. UPS. the video store? I was there yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, maybe we could, oh. <clears throat> uh, just get a coffee or something? Just as friends or film buffs? <laughs> Can we rent all these? Can we rent all for you, please? please. Please, we love the lad alone. Sure. When are they due back? <laughs> what? How long can we rent them? Yeah. Uh, Wednesday before midnight. a friend in the building. I just want to let you know, because yesterday. Uh, any, anyway, I, uh, I have a present for you. It's a really great one. Okay, well, so I'd still like to take you out. Well, we could go to the um, Museum of Jurassic Technology. Do you know about that place? I'm really great at picking out films for people. It's, it's a, a gift I have. If you can even call this a film. This is from the video store? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, it is. But, you know, no charge. Or... I'll return it with the others tomorrow. Cool. When you know me, there aren't any late fees, so. I hope you enjoy it. Hi. Yes? What did you think? Um... Can I come in? No. Can I come in for a no. second? My... great aunt had to go to the hospital. What? 
She's the one who lives in the building. Uh, I guess I'm looking after her place now. But did, did you want to get some breakfast or something? No. I mean, I can really go. Don't ask me again. It's a waste of time to keep asking me. I'm sorry about your aunt. I hope she's OK. So that's a black mamba. First wow, deadliest snake in the entire world. Yeah, no idea. Hey, either, here she comes. Hey. I don't know what the second deadliest. You said Taipan. I think Taipan. No, please, something's happened. Go away, I'll call our super. No, please, I need your help. She died. She's dead. Please, can I come in? I don't have anyone. I'm all alone. She died. I don't have anyone. <laughs> oh, fuck. What is that thing for? It's in case you fucking try anything. Open some windows, I just feel like I can't breathe. <sighs> talk. I was gonna talk about my great aunt. Talk then. Well, um, you have a really nice apartment. Which apartment did she live in? Uh, uh is this trash? Yeah. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna throw it away, okay? Okay. You wanna know something my great aunt said tonight? What? She said, um, Knowledge is when you learn something new every day. Wisdom is when you let something go every day. Emerson said that. You know that quote? Yeah. She didn't come up with that one on the spot tonight, sorry. Well, anyway, she knew the quote. I knew your aunt. I'd see her at the mailbox downstairs. She always said hello to me. Um. It's okay to watch erotica, and I say that as a lifelong Catholic. Catholics are pervs. Not me. Well, you're not a priest. You're right, I am not a priest. No one really gets fucked in the films you rent. There's no penetration. And I also understand the allure of the old battered VHSs. They're like antiques. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, OK, neither do I. I think you just call it that place between your collarbones. Is it the sternum? Yeah. Maybe. But anyway, I gotta go to bed. I'm really sorry about your aunt. Um, could I maybe sleep on your couch tonight? Um.
Hey, why are you late? You know it's Simon's day off. I have never been late before. I know. I thought you were dead. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Your mom is called. Oh, fuck, that's right, it's Wednesday. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, she had a bit of a, an emotional outburst when you missed your phone date. You've never been late before. She started screaming at me in Polish. I had to smoke this to relax. I'm sorry. That'll be her. Every ten minutes for a solid two hours. She's scaring Derek. Chest, mamush. Messed up, Simon. I didn't know that, no, dude. I know. She is. You think so? Yeah, she, she just doesn't love me. And me having this whole world of love for her it doesn't help. I've been thinking about the great writers lately. How many of them were really in love? In love for decades. Not of them. Shut up, dude. And how many of them were in love with just some girl that they were fucking at the time who didn't even love them back in this lonely, torturous existence in an empty fucking cave? Are you found a clip, Simon? What? You know where a clit is, right? I think so. so. You don't know. Yeah, I know. So where is it? It's 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 where everything. Where? It's, it's, it's where all the stuff. Is the is. thing that looks like the flux capacitor? Oh my god! Stop looking at me like that. Eric. No, I thought you knew, man. This accounts for ninety percent of your problems with this chick. I swear. You don't know what it is, do you? What it is? It's an anatomical part of the female. Vagina. Shut the fuck up, Derek. Do you know what it is? The clitoris? Yes, I do. I am religious about the clitoris.
you get the tape? <sighs> yeah, I got it. <clears throat> You're liking them, right? <sighs> Shut up. They're terrible, but but that that's part of it for you, right? Where's your cross? Checking out my neck, huh? I know you're not Catholic. Yeah, sorry. No, 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 no. It still counts. I'd like you to wear it. It's better safety than a meat cleaver. <laughs> butcher knife. Well, this will keep you safer than any butcher knife could. Safe from you? I guess. I mean, you feel like you need protection, so... Whoa, before you put it on. What? <clears throat> uh, I have to wash your hair. You can't wear a cross with dirty hair. Uh, oh, I hate this. Uh, it's almost done. Water's getting in my eyes. It is not. I'm being careful when you know it. Polish people wash each other? Yeah. I've never heard of that before. How many Polish people do you know? None. You know me? Not really. This will keep you safe. You said that already. Let me put it on. No, I have to put it on. Fine. But don't brush my hair anymore. I don't like it. I don't like it. one of your movies? We can watch one together. You have to go or I'll get upset. Don't upset me. Okay. I'm going. <clears throat> we'll do it another time. <clears throat> I care about you. Wake up, buddy. Hi. Excuse me. What? Roll down your window, please. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can't be, uh, sleeping in the parking lot. Um, yeah. Uh, my, my wife kicked me out for the night, but, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, it's a one-time thing. It won't happen again. I know, I know. It was, we saw you the, for the past six nights or so. So. Yeah, I, I know. Um, my wife kicked me out a long time ago, but I'm uh, about to get back into her good graces. So, but you're right. I should be sleeping in the parking lot. It's crazy. So. <laughs> see that if we catch you again, we're gonna have to call the cops. And my boss wanted to call the cops this morning, but I wanted to come down here and warn you first. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I'm assistant manager. Um, all right, I'm, I'm leaving now. Fingers? What? Bye. She doesn't want to see me. I'm so sorry, man. Thanks. I don't ever want to talk about this again. So, um... It's weird that that girl stopped coming in. Which girl? That weird one. Yeah, how long has it been? 
I'd say about a week. She used to come in every day. Yeah, in the late afternoon. Yeah, it's been ever since the lover boy here scared her away. Told you she's weird, man. She's probably sitting in a garbage can somewhere, still embarrassed you trying to talk to her. <laughs> Isn't it your day off? <laughs> yeah, what are you, a loser? I was getting some groceries in the neighborhood, Simon. You live in Echo Park. Yeah, I still need groceries. All the grocery stores in this neighborhood are Pan-Asian. Fuck off, you guys, okay? I, maybe I wanted to make a stir fry. Plus, there's like 10 grocery stores within a mile of your house, dude. I like the breeze on this side of town. It's ocean breeze it's, it clears my head. Yeah, just admit it, dude. What? You have no life. Oh, is this because of that bitch whose clit you could never find? Derek! You're an imbecile. I'm never talking to you again. Ugh. Dude, it bothers me, man. A lot. To have a heart, they just broke up. I don't care, it really bothers me. I'll sit behind you like this so you don't see me. Uh-huh. Okay, and I won't make a sound. Not a word. I promise. Do you have a cell phone? No. I can't do anything while you're here, so it kind of ruins it for me. It's kind of boring if you aren't getting off, isn't it? Shut up. You said you wouldn't talk. You talk to me. I can do that. I can talk to you. You can't talk to me. Plus, I just thought of one more rule. If you get a boner, you're out. Okay. Eric and I go next door. Okay. And uh, Simon's in the back. Don't tell him where we went, though. He'll miss me too much. <laughs> Which movie? Okay. Cool. Is it from the 70s? Well, tell me which decade. <clears throat> I doubt it. Why would I like it? You don't think I'm going to like it that much? I hate this. I hate this shit. I hate all of this bullshit. I can't believe you thought I'd be into this. Oh my god, I'm so bored. Oh, how big is this guy's dick, would you say? It's hard to tell. How big are What? About. Your penis is not even half of that, I bet. Excuse me. How would you know? I've seen it bulging out your pants, and it's not that. So, been checking out my bulge. <laughs> don't call it a bulge. When was this? I don't even remember. I just remember thinking there's probably not much to it. Mm. Just must have me confused with someone else. Look, I don't care. The size, I don't care. It's just really pitiful if you lie about it. Okay, that guy is what? What would you say? I'd say I don't care. No, let's make a bet. If I am bigger than that guy, then I get to sleep in your bed tonight. No. Come on! It's a fair bet. If I am bigger than that guy, I win. It's so late. No touching. No touching? No touching, I swear. I can't sleep out here again. It gets so cold. Desert cold. What do I get if I win? What do you want if you win? I want you to not talk at all when you come over here. Just make the food, we'll watch the movie, and you don't speak. I can do that.
Okay, well, proportionally, let's say he's eight, eight and a half. Sure. Uh, let's say eight and a half. Well, let's just say he's eight. You have to be bigger than him to win, remember? Okay. Uh, well, how do you want to measure me? I'll have to be erect to make it fair. Fuck that! Well, I do! He is fucking erect! Fine. You measure yourself, though. I'm not fucking touching you. Fine. Okay. Um... Are you gonna put a sock over it or something? Over my cock? Don't fucking say cock. Over my dick? Ugh. You're such a pig. Over my... PB? <laughs> <laughs> this is why you shouldn't talk. <laughs> okay, okay. So, confirming if my, um, penis is bigger than eight and a half inches, I get to sleep in your bed tonight. Use one of your socks to cover it. I don't want to see it. Well, well how, how you be sure how big it is if you don't see it? I'll observe from over here. Okay. Um, I just have to concentrate. I mean it. I will call the police if you rape me. I'm not going to rape you, man. I'm here every night. Don't you think I would have tried Just by don't now? Do anything, okay? Okay. It's cold in your house in the middle of the night. It gets pretty cold. I'm not trying anything. Can I just put my back up against yours? Okay. This is called Pletsky to Pletsky. My Polish grandmother, Babcha, used to uh, make us sleep like this in pairs when we were kids. She did it as a kid, too. It was the only way they kept warm during the winter. Pletsky to Pletsky. And they lived in a hut, and she didn't get her period until she was 17, because she was so malnourished. Pletsy are your back. I mean, all your back's muscles are one thing, but Pletsy is plural. That's nice. I love this. Was your great aunt Polish too? Um, yeah. It feels like we're connected. <laughs>
Let's go out. I don't like LA. <clears throat> what? You live here? I don't go out to places, I mean. You're touching me again. I know. On the first day of their period, girls are sick, so even if I was a normal girl, I still couldn't go anywhere with you today. <laughs> you are normal. <laughs> hey, do you want some tea? Yeah. Honey? I don't have any. I brought some for you. Honey is better than sugar. Honey's better than sugar? I bought it for you. What do you think? I think you're funny. You thought that was funny? Yeah. Can I do it to you now? Great. <clears throat> yeah. uh, whatever you want. Yep. Uh, the same fish I made last week. And trout or the halibut. <laughs> okay, I'll see you after I'm done here. Uh, bye, thanks for calling. Who's that? Uh, customer. See you after I'm done? It's a movie. Really? Yeah. It's a Scottish movie. I got some sleep for the first time in a long time having you in my bed last night. It's good. Get off. You guys. Elfita. What? Elfita saying. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Not if I see you first. Not talking to you. All right, goodbye, Simon. Come on, guys. I should probably head. Sit. Want one? No, Eric. Okay. Why do you always ask me? It gets annoying. Don't know. Polite. One day you might want one. I don't smoke. Okay. I went past your place yesterday. Huh? Went past where your apartment building should have been, and right there was a huge pile of rubble. It's demolished, man. Wire fence, cement mixer. Yeah, I moved. Where to? Another apartment. When? A few months ago. A few months ago? Why didn't you say anything? <laughs> I didn't think it was a big deal. Are you living in a car again? No. So you haven't spent one night in that car? Dude. God dude. damn it, dude. I knew the minute I drove by. Listen to me. I have a place to go. Great. Awesome. Let's see this place. Should I drag you? No. 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 What the fuck, man? What's going on? Are you using again? I have a place. A, a, a nice place. I can't explain it to you right now. Just trust me. Trust me, I man. I know I do. <laughs> Funny? No, it's not fucking funny, man. You make me feel like a moron for ever caring what happens to you. I don't feel like a moron. Fuck you, I... man. Fuck you. Let's go see this place right now. Come on. No, no, 
You can't see it. I, it, I... What, is it a place only you can see? No, what? it's messy. It's messy. Yeah, it's a mess. I talk to you about everything, and I'm always, always honest with you. Eric. No, you don't want to talk to me, I don't want to talk to you. Over. Go sleep on the beach, man. Get fucked in the ass by MS-13 guys all night long, because I don't care anymore, man. Done. Eric! No, I'm going home. I haven't masturbated in a long time. I'm getting really sick of you. Any sprinkle? Yeah, um, she does really great pro-women stuff, apparently. Eric gave this to me. I should have watched it a long time ago. What's it called? Um, Zen Pussy? There's, uh, 11 different girls. No penises, so you'll like it. <clears throat> oh. It's just extreme close-ups of vaginas. Fast forward, see if there's anything else on here. Oh, uh, fucking turn it off. Should I? Yeah, fuck. <sighs> okay, I thought, uh... That was, ah, oh, Jesus, fuck. That was so fucked up. I'm about to cry. I, that was just, like, gynecological. Oof. Eleven vulvas. I, I really think you like it. So what's the deal? Is it porn? Uh... I won't spoil it. Just, just take it home. Yeah, you'll love it. Okay. I trust your judgment. So what's, um, what's the deal with you and Eric? He's not talking to me. Yeah. Why? Uh, you should just ask him. You're not really that easy to talk to. You should know that. Playing next door, I think. At the newer, yeah, yeah. I was thinking since she liked Keselowski so much, and I know you wouldn't want to go see the film alone. And I mean, if we all went with you, it might be a little bit better for you, man. Maybe make you feel. Eric, are you saying you wanna you wanna see a Keselowski film with me? That's so romantic. Is there a midnight movie? Maybe. Hey, mm. we should all go. What the hell? Yeah? Let's go check it out. Yeah, let's go check it right now. Uh, you guys need anything? Hey, hang on. I'll go get some smokes with you. What, are you scared to be alone with me? It's, it's me. Um, listen, uh, at midnight, they're playing a Kishlovsky film, and I, I just wanted to see if you wanted to come. So it's going to be really good. So um, come meet all the, the dudes. All right. Uh, I'll, hopefully, I'll see you there. It's at midnight. Bye. Where's dinner? Huh? I said.
thought you were gonna bring pizza tonight. <sighs> Mushrooms. Well, I don't want to eat pizza in the middle of the night. Well, I do. Well, you should get on that. Why didn't you answer the phone when I called? I was sleeping. Liar. I called you a trillion different times. I left you messages. I know you heard them. What's your problem? Why don't you want to meet my friends? I don't have family here. They're like my family. <sighs> You're so whiny and clingy and needy and annoying. <sighs> what if I died and you had ignored my calls? I'm not having this conversation. Well, you're never having any conversation. You never talk to anyone. You ignore my calls. You ignore your father's calls. I'm, I'm glad it's across the board, not just with me. You ignore the guy who delivers your water. I want you to meet Eric and the dudes, OK? I, I want to meet your dad. Who the fuck do you think you are? I don't give a shit about you. When are you going to figure that out? I am your boyfriend. What kind of fucked up boyfriend, girlfriend situation would this be? We don't have sex. I don't even like you. What happened to you? What? Were you raped? No. Were you raped? Were you assaulted? Has anyone ever hurt you like that? No. I love you. Just meet my friends. They're, they are the nicest guys. You should find a girl who can do that with you. A girl you can fuck like a punching bag whenever you want. <laughs> what? It's a great solution to our problem. What is our problem? You're disruptive. What do you mean? You're disrupting my All whole life. All I am is good for you. What life? What do you do? What? You don't You're do right. anything. Maybe I should I'm start writing you. my memoir. Why are you always so pissed off all the time? Just come out with my friends. I can't. It's simple. You just No! Come. I can't. I don't know, man. It's like a yoga thing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, just take it home. You like it. It's a great title. So I uh, just talk to Eric, and we'll talk about what's going on. This shit happens with friends. Mm, no, not with them. Something's really wrong. What do you think happened? Oh man, it must be huge though. This is unprecedented behavior for them. Shit. I know. That's clip, by the way. You're a little kid. You work in a video store. You don't have money for rent. You don't have money for gas. It's pathetic. <laughs> Me having no money? Yes. You're a piece of shit excuse for a person. Well, I think it's pathetic to piss away every day not doing a thing except watching girls who are underpaid and exploited rub up against each other. Oh, I'm sorry. I jerk off too. Live with it. I would love to live with it. That's my point. Shut up. <laughs> Listen, it is really fucking hard, okay? And I'm doing better than most. You don't have to be so heartless all the time. You're a scrounger. I have a job. So, I have a job, at least. What the fuck do you do? You have a shit job. You have money. You could be studying anywhere on the planet right now, but no, hanging art on your wall that daddy got you as a present isn't a job. You have a shit job, and people do hang art for a living. They're called curators. I know what a fucking curator is. There is no reason for you not to be with me. You're searching. It takes time. We can do it gently. 
We can go slowly, you can guide me however you want. Remember I talked to you about the vaginal dilator? You're sexually deformed. Do you want to live here? Yes! I want to be with you! What, do you want me to buy you a mink coat and some diamonds? You're not staying Give me here a and fucking me. break! I won't let you! I don't need your money! Well, we both know that's not true. Nothing you can say can hurt my feelings. <laughs> What's the point of me saying anything to you then? I love you, this fight is over. I think you should take the vaginal dilator and I think you should use it in your butt. Get your dork friends to help. Get out! I am staying here tonight, in your bed. I am touching you, and we are going to try it. End of discussion. What are you doing? Who are you calling? Give me the fucking phone. Give me the fucking phone. This is not domestic violence. This is not a police matter. We're clogging up the line for people who are really in trouble. Selfish as usual. Selfish. You can't go to sleep. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. I'm sleeping here. Get me my book. Where is it? In the bedroom on the dresser. Yeah, I can get it. Give it to me. Just this, please. <clears throat> sure thing, Charlie. Place looks good. Are you boys in love? Sorry, Charlie? Love. Amour. Dancing. Are you in love? There's no use wasting away alone. You need it. Fall in love. Sure. Fall in love quick. With a girl or a boy. Find someone. Thank you. Uh, yeah. That's great advice, sir. Thank you. you. You know what today is? It's your anniversary. Yeah. She loved this film. Don't, don't forget your tape there. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. I mean it, boys. Make it snappy. You're getting old. See you. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Charlie. I'll see you later. See you next time. You bet. Take care. <laughs> I think 
as a general rule, if you committed yourself to watching sexual film of a higher quality, um, meaning psychologically sexual, uh, European, thoughtful. I'm never gonna have sex with you, I'm frigid. Are you a virgin? No, I'm not. <coughs> You're not frigid. How would you know? Good sex isn't dumb or cheap, like the sex in porn. Thank you, I'm not a dumbass. Okay, well, the stuff I'm going to bring over will actually make you want to think about having real sex, loving sex. I've had a lot of sex. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I bet you do. You're so ugly. Well, I know you find me attractive. Not at all. Why don't you sleep in your great aunt's old apartment tonight? Her old apartment freaks me out. I know you find me attractive. <laughs> if I wanted to have sex, I would go find someone sexy. Not like you. Okay, so you don't think I'm sexy? I don't like your face. Well, it's not your face I like the most either. You're disgusting to me. The thought of your penis is even more disgusting. When have you ever seen a dick that looked nice or smelled nice? You should feel ashamed. Limp or erect, it's sick. Well, you said dick. You never say dick. You're an asshole. I think my dick looks really nice. That's because you're an idiot. Take whatever I give you, huh? I'll take whatever you give me. I'll take it. I couldn't help it. Get out, you fucking... No. Ah! No, it just happened, all right? I wasn't gonna do anything with it. You're beautiful. It's biology. Sick of fucking pervert! No. Biology. If I let you in my bed... I wasn't gonna do anything. The sounds you were making were sexy. Oh, I wasn't gonna do anything. I wasn't now gonna do anything. Now it can happen any time. You said you wouldn't. You said you wouldn't. No, it's gone now. It's oh, gone now. It's gone now. It's gone no, now. No, no, I just mean it's gone, so you can stop stressing. I'm stressed. I can't trust you now, you fuck. Stop. Stop. I don't want to do this. I can go back to just kissing the right thigh. No, just stop. I can kiss Get your up. thighs all day. No. We can Get up!
That was great. Step by step, that was just what I was talking about. We I just want you to leave. Huh? I'm never seeing you again. It's over. Wait, what are you talking about? This was good. This was progress. Leave or I'll scream. Leave. Leave. No. Leave. No. Leave. No. Leave! Don't do this. Leave! Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Leave! 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 Just this time? Yeah, just, just that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Hey, baby. Hey. Yeah. Nice. I'm sorry to bother you. I know you're busy. No, you don't bother me. I wish you stopped up here more often. I just wanted to talk to you because uh, I have a job. I mean, I have a job. I got a job, so. You got a job? Yeah. Oh my God, that's so cute. Yeah, I got a job. Um, and I wanted you to know because I know you bought the apartment, but I'm moving out, renting a smaller place. Because um, I'd, I'd like to live in a different place. Because uh, right. uh, I have a job now, so right, I have a job. Right. What is your job? Oh, you want it to be a surprise. Are you working at a restaurant? No, you'd probably be a terrible waitress. <laughs> is, it a, is it a strip club? Because uh, you have to start working out a little more if that's what it is. <laughs> I don't want to tell you what it is or where it is. It's just my job. So, you decided to become financially independent at 24? I guess you owe me about $3 million if you consider all the therapy and the clothes. Listen, your apartment's paid for. It's yours. Uh, I called Bob and told him to... Well, he closed my account. And uh, here are the keys to the, to, my, to the car. You've grown accustomed to a certain lifestyle. And if you want to rough it for a while with this job, then I understand that, okay? But you need to keep your accounts open. I don't want your money anymore, Dad. I don't need it. Hey, sit down and shut up. I want you to sit your ass down. Sit down! You're being stupid. I'm gonna to talk to you like an adult for a change. Have you even considered health insurance? If you want to move into a different apartment, Fine. You know, I'll, I'll have Jared find some places. You just tell me the neighborhood. I'll find you the best places. I don't need places. to find a place. I have a new place. Where is it? If you try to find me, I'll call the cops. Sweetheart, the cops don't give a shit what you have to say. They don't care about what happened. And don't ever, ever fucking threaten me again. Do you understand? Bob's office anytime and sign whatever you need me to sign. He has my email address. I don't love you.